Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how I have animated this Volcano animation project from the beginning to the end. So here I will break down the animation process which I have followed for this project. So as always, before jumping on to any illustration tools, I picked a pencil and a paper, started doing basic rough sketch to get the basic idea of the overall design of the environment and then I jumped onto Adobe Illustrator, started making the basic shapes to get the structure correct first. At this stage, I'm avoiding the color selection process so that I can specifically focus on the structure of the mountain and the other elements. Once I am satisfied with the structure, I started adding colors. To pick the colors, I used Adobe Color. So for this one, I picked some saturated colors to get the overall feel of the volcanic eruption. After that, I added more details to the scene. And here I am with my final illustration from the initial rough sketch. After that, I separated the layers to prepare the file for animation in After Effects. In After Effects, I have started with the volcanic eruption animation. To initiate the explosion, I have scaled up the circular ships, which are denoted as fireballs. So this fireball contained white, yellow and orange circle shape layers. Then precomped all these shape layers together and just scaled up the precomp to initiate the blast. After that, I duplicated the precomp a few more times and then added white fill and changed the blending mode to overlay and then again added a scale up down loop animation on this white fill precomp layers and finally offset the keyframes. And then I moved on with the lava exhaust. For that, I have added three strokes, orange, yellow and white. To initiate the lava explosion exhaust, I animated the stroke width and added the trim path and animated the end value and also increased the stroke width along the path. Then I added an effect called roughen edges on the strokes and then adjusted the border and edge sharpness values. Then I animated the evolution under roughen edges to add a wiggle motion. I added scale up down loop animation and offset the keyframes to add some follow through. Then I precomped the layers and added glow effect and adjusted the glow threshold radius and intensity and added wiggle expression on glow radius. After that, I added a stroke and then added a trim pad on it. Then adjusted the start and end value and animated the offset under the trim path in a loop. Then I duplicated the shape layers and varied the path stroke thickness and tried different colors on them. Then I added an adjustment layer and added roughen edges on it and animated the evolution under roughen edges. Finally, I precomped the strokes and added a glow effect on the precomp. And here is the final result. So next I animated the particle spread. For the line particle spread, I have added the strokes and then added trim path on it. I adjusted the start and end value and animated the offset under trim path in a loop. For circular particle spread, I have made a circle shape and animated the position and scale property in a loop. Then I duplicated the circle shape layers multiple times and varied the motion path and offset the layers to get the particle animation like this. For lava falls, I have again added a stroke and adjusted the tapered value under stroke property. Then I added a trim path and animated the end value. To add more details on the lava falls, I added another stroke of white color and then added a trim path on it adjusted the start and end value and then animated the offset under the trim path in a loop. Then I changed the blending mode of this layer to overlay. And here is how it looks. For the smoke animation, I have used particle playground and according to the requirement, I have changed the particle per second, direction, random speed and velocity under Canon. An important tip. While using particle playground, by default the particles would look like squares. 
To change it to a circular particle, you can add a circle shape layer under the layer map and then use the layer and select the circle shape layer. And once I am happy with the smoke, I have added a white fill and changed the blending mode to overlay. For the shock waves, I have made a circle shape, then added a scale up animation and decreased the ease at the start and increased it at the end to add a first start with a slow end. Then duplicated the layer and offset the layers and used the top layer as an alpha inverted mat. Then while placing it into the scene, I scaled it down in Y axis to get an elliptical look. And finally for the camera shake, I have added a null layer on the main composition and parented the main comp layer with this null. Then added wiggle expression on position and rotation and the video is ready to render. So that is it for this video. I hope you learned a few important tips and tricks to help you in your projects. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, then make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.